the Church of Scientology that all Scientologists believe exists has been destroyed, but they have only David Miscavige to thank for that. David Miscavige took control of the Church of Scientology almost 30 years ago. Since then, he has systematically dismantled and destroyed the previous management, organization and activities of the Church. Anything that was functioning in the old church has now been completely demolished. Not while Scientology critics have been very effective in exposing David Miscavige's crimes and the crimes of others in the church, and while Anonymous has helped greatly in accelerating the demise of the church, the major source of the destruction of the church is Scientology was and is David Miscavige. If anything in the Scientology organization is still functioning in any way, it is those things that have, so far, escaped direct management by David Miscavige. David is not a good manager. In fact, he is a horrible manager. He would have difficulty running the local fast food restaurant. He religiously destroys while he's working, and forces programs that can't work. He doesn't trust anyone, but he will tolerate mood liquors and psych events. Anyone with any spine or spark of independence has been stomped on, hard, sometimes by being sent to the RPF, but more often simply banished kicked out and declared suppressive. He dreams of insane projects, not based on any real facts or any workable methods, and then demands his few remaining staff, make it go right and get his project executed. No one can make any of his cockamamie plans actually work. Badly researched, badly planned, horribly managed, his projects always fail. But, because he's such a horrible manager, he can't correctly evaluate who was at fault. Instead of taking responsibility for his failures as a manager, he punishes those brave souls who, at least, try to make them work. This leaves only David Miscavige, the Clarets, the Woo Lickers and the Psych FNs running the Church of Scientology. Nothing can get done. Nothing will ever get done. Today, the only things actually getting done are being done by people outside of the church. Outside lawyers are still harassing the critics and reporters. Outside private investigators have been brought in to investigate the protesters. An outside ad agency is putting up some TV ads. A Japanese manufacturer produced the still unreleased Mark 80 meters. Anything actually getting done is being done by outside people. Anything being done inside the church, under David Miscavige's management, is an abysmal failure. The biggest and most important project laid out by L. Ron Hubbard was to expand all Scientology churches to the size of Old St. Hill. St. Hill, in England, the center of Scientology under Hubbard, was quite the booming place at one time. Hubbard's orders were to get all churches stably to that level. Above all else, that was what David Miscavige should have been doing. David Miscavige has totally failed to do this. His projects to do so resulted in a few churches temporarily reaching that size, but the expansion was false, and they quickly collapsed. David Miscavige's management could not create a stable expansion in even one church. As a solution, David Miscavige redefined the size of Old St. Hill to a much smaller size. Then he pushed a few more churches to that size, and, again, they collapsed. David Miscavige couldn't even meet his much lower goals. Instead of expansion, David Miscavige's management inevitably results in collapse. As a solution to that, David Miscavige abandoned the whole St. Hill size program entirely. He announced a new project called Ideal Orb and hoped that no one noticed all his previous expansion programs had failed. The Ideal Orb program first requires local Scientologists to use their own money to buy and renovate huge new buildings for the local church. Rather than expand, and then buy larger premises when you need them and can afford them, David Miscavige is having the churches buy new buildings they can't afford, and then come in some yet a defined way, they'll expand. That's David Miscavige's bright idea for expansion. Unbelievably, he doesn't even understand simple cause and effect. Does anyone need any further evidence as to his complete incompetence? Inevitably, as with all the rest of David Miscavige's projects, this expansion project is failing as well. 
those few churches who have fully implemented his ideal or plan are doing worse than ever. Inevitably, David Miscavige will blame others for this abysmal failure. Once again, heads will roll, but not his own. It isn't as if David Miscavige doesn't realize he is a failure. David Miscavige knows that if the true picture of his miserable management got out, Scientologists everywhere would cease supporting him. He would either be kicked out, or Scientologists would simply abandon his church. He knows this, so the one thing he does get done, and he is in a blind panic about it all the time, is the fantastical events he puts on six times a year. As time goes on, these events have less and less to do with reality. David Miscavige must report huge successes and huge expansion at every event. Since he cannot produce any major successes and never has any real expansion to report, the events are all smoke and mirrors, to make him look good. Any glimmer of any Scientologists doing anything, gets exaggerated, magnified, of up and filmed, and then David Miscavige pretends he had something to do with it and that he is causing great things, but he is a failure. No amount of smoke and mirrors, and waving and fantasy can cover up the fact that he is a complete, incompetent failure. In all his life, David Miscavige has never succeeded, has never completed anything, has never made something better. The damage to the Church of Scientology by David Miscavige is so extensive, I do not see any way it could recover. In my opinion, even when David Miscavige is gone, the effects of his mismanagement are too severe for any possible recovery. The Church of Scientology is gone. Only inertia and the desperate efforts of a few local Scientologists is keeping it from immediate, complete collapse. Each Scientologist has his or her own level of gullibility. Soon, most of the few remaining Scientologists will finally realize the truth and they, too, will stop supporting him. While it is very true that David Miscavige has destroyed the Church of Scientology, and it is also very true that David Miscavige ultimately fails at everything he does, he is still vicious and destructive. In the short time remaining, the attacks he directs can still cause damage even as his organization collapses around him. The battle for justice is not finished until the criminals of the Church of Scientology, especially David Miscavige, are brought to justice. This has been brought to you by Anonymous. We do not forgive, we do not forget, we do not fail, like David Miscavige does. Expect us.